Hi, this is Toby at Cuddle, and in this video, I'll show how to make these laser engraved name tags using cuddle.xyz, which is a free web-based design tool for laser cutting. I'll also show how to use the Cuddle editor to customize the name tag further, for example, adding a logo or changing the shape of the outline of the cut. First, I'll show how to make a basic name tag. So go to the Cuddle template. I've left a link in the description below. You'll see a page like this, and you can scroll down. And here we see the area where we can create a basic name tag. So you can type in a name in this text field. As you type, you'll see that the name changes in the preview area. A nice feature about this is that if you have a name that's too long, you'll see that it automatically resizes to fit within the area. This is great because in other design programs, you would have to manually resize your text in this scenario. You can also change the font. So by clicking here, we can scroll through different font options. You can also change the letter spacing. So if I click and drag to the left or right, I can change this letter spacing number, and then that will change how close the letters are to each other. When you have a result that you like, you can click Download SVG, and that will download an SVG to your computer that you can then send to your laser cutter. If you're using a Glowforge, it will look like this when you bring the SVG in. And you just want to make sure that the text is set to engrave and the outline is set to cut. And then you're ready to cut it. And when it's cut, you can hot glue a pin back to the back of it. And then you have a name tag ready to wear. Next, I'll show how to customize the name tag, for example, adding a logo to it. So what you'll need to do is click this Edit in Cuddle button, or you can also click it down here. And this will open up the Cuddle Editor, which will show you all the parts that make up this template and let you edit them. So I just wanted to show you that this template is made up of two rectangles that have these modifiers on them. So the first one is this outer rectangle that has a round corners modifier on it, and that's creating the outer shape that's getting cut. This second rectangle has a text within box modifier, and that's the thing that's putting in the name that we can type here. And the text within box modifier also has a solid purple fill color. That's what I'm using to represent my engrave, my laser engrave. And the text within box is, will fit the text always within the rectangle that it's on. So what that means is that I can select this and then I can resize this rectangle and you'll notice that the text will always fit within the rectangle, no matter how big or small it is. It will automatically scale to fit within there. So to make the name tag with a logo, I'm going to bring in my logo. So the logo that I have is an image. So if you have a SVG of your logo, then um, you can import it like that. If it's a JPEG or a PNG, um, in my case, I have a PNG logo, uh, you're going to want it to be black on white or black on transparent. And so I've brought in, I did file import, I chose my PNG file. This is my logo. And I'm going to resize it. So I'm just going to grab the corner make it smaller, and this is going to be fitting on a three inch by one inch name tag. So I think this is going to have to be smaller still. So if 
I say three inches, maybe a little bit smaller than that. Let's say 2.8. And I'll grab it here and put it centered on my name tag. I'll use the arrow keys to get it into place. And I'm going to take this rectangle that has the text within box. I'm going to grab that center and put it here. And I'll resize it a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, recenter it again. something like that, so that this box is representing the boundary of the text. So now I've made my name tag, and I can still type in whatever name I want. Um, if it's really long, it'll resize to fit. I can also put in a second line. So. Uh, there's the name tag. As a second example, I wanted to show how to make a name tag that isn't just a rounded rectangle. So similarly, I'm going to click Edit and Cuddle to bring up the Cuddle Editor. And my idea is that I want to not just use a rectangle, I want something more exciting. So let's say that I'm going to a shark convention, and everyone's going to be having name tags that are in the shape of a shark. So I imported an SVG using File Import SVG, and this is an SVG that I downloaded from the Noun project. And it comes in and it has a fill of black, so I'm going to be using this as a cut outline. So I'm going to turn off the fill and turn on a stroke. So the stroke um, will be this outline. So this is going to be the outline of the name tag. And it's this is pretty big right now. It says it's 15 inches wide. I think it's going to need to be about 4 inches. So yeah, it'll be about 4 inches by 1.3 inches high. And I'll put that sort of around here. I'm just using the arrow keys to put it into place. I'm going to select this rectangle, my old cut outline, and delete it by hitting delete on my keyboard. And the name is, it's a little big because this is the boundary of um, of where the text is going to be. It would be too big if if there were more characters in there overflow the shark. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and resize this rectangle, which then resizes um, where the text is, of course. And something like that. I just want to bring it in so that this um, Rectangle is, is contained within the shark outline. And now I can type in a name and it will fit within the box, and that box is within the shark. And if it's a long name, it will automatically resize to fit. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you can help out the channel by clicking like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.